Hello, hello, welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another tutorial and we're gonna do the mother of all tutorials with Cole. Cole is Alpha and Omega in this game. So, why did I say that? Well, everything runs on coal. It's 1960s. Coal is uh, readily available, easy to burn, to create electricity, create heat, create everything, and your whole economy is gonna evolve around it. Coal is simple and it's not. Now, we're starting in a normal, randomly generated map, and uh, this brings us a couple of benefits, I have to point them out. Resources are randomly allocated. Most of them are in the hilly areas, but some of them are not. And as you can see here, usually we aim on the border between Soviet and uh, NATO countries, and definite huge benefit if it has electrical connection. Where we have a coal source somewhere around here, and we have electricity connection over here for our NATO companions. Uh, this is a NATO, oh, sorry, for our Soviet companions. Uh, this is perfect area. Now, benefits. Mostly the sources of coal or any ore are in the hilly areas, but this one is not. And the random map will give you this from time to time. You can have the resources underwater, or you can have them on the flat grounds like we have here. Don't get discouraged. This is quite realistic. Uh, the biggest mines in the world are on the flat grounds, not in the mountains. So in this case, we're going to start the, start the same way. I will create a small industrial zone over here, and we're going to continue from there. Well, I probably should show you how, how we're going to do the how to do this. This is uh, going to be quite complicated. Uh, kind of complicated uh, setup we're gonna be running around here. So we have our coal mine over here. You can see that I plonked it in the middle of the green zone. It should have quite good resources, but it's not the source of quality of the source is not the main issue here. If you have high quality source, you will produce more coal than you can process. Bear in mind that these kind of mines can operate up to two, three, to, up to 300 tons a day. And your processing facilities can only process two 200 tons a day uh, of ore and um, it can go all the way 400 maybe even 500 tons a day so you will have to have several deep processing uh, facilities we're not gonna go for that straight away I'm, we, I'm gonna put a storage uh, unit in every stage of our uh, um, of our procedure and also heads up I'm only using in uh, vanilla game uh, stuff in here. I'm not using any mods. Mods would definitely make it much more, much easier for us. But uh, we're not gonna do that. Anyway, we're gonna have a mine, storage, uh, processing facility, storage, power plant, and heating plant all around here. I'm gonna be back as soon as I uh, set this up. Right here we go. We have a basic industry set up here. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything that we built. Uh, again, we're gonna go for mud roads. I will upgrade them as needed. Probably I'm gonna have a gravel road going into this area. Bear in mind that coal mine requires 220 workers, I believe, and uh, the rest of the buildings not so much, but more or less everything should operate smoothly. Just we're gonna need a lot of workers. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a coal mine connected to the engine. Uh, to a huge depot. Then we have connected the depot connected to the engine to the processing plant, and then we have all of that connected to a uh, engine to another depot for coal. And at the moment, I have a normal setup, of just normal conveyor belt going to the heating plant because we're not going to need a lot of coal there, and I don't think it has to be connected to the engine. I had a little bit of a geographical issue connecting it to this engine, even though it should work. It doesn't allow us to connect the road, but then it doesn't look realistic, and also this engine would have access to the fire department, which I believe we're going to need. Anyway, uh, this, and of course this is the power plant, so I'm hoping that we're going to have enough money uh, 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 from here, from whatever we're building here. 20,000 is going to be the heating plant, 200,000 would be the power plant. We have uh, mine 70, uh, that's going to be another 200,000, that's going to be half a million rub rubles, and probably the most 
expensive thing is going to be all these conveyor belts that we mostly already paid for. Now, luckily for us, like I said, we are close to both Soviet border and to NATO border, so our costs are not going to be so drastic uh, when we pay for stuff. Okay, so we have this industrial zone over here. I'm going to go and build us a basic city setup. Uh, you, the usual, you know how we do it, and I'm going to put it around here so we're going to see how that's going to look like. Okay, here we go. We have a classical uh, tutorial city that I usually use. Uh, you can see here we have eight buildings. They are the big ones with a better quality of life, the 96% quality of the apartments. Um, I think that's gonna be enough for us. We have a couple of... Uh, we're gonna need two vehicles here. We're gonna need a couple of vehicles in the... Uh, ambulance department. I'm gonna lower the amount of workers to five over here and to let's go ten over here. Uh, kindergartens. We have two kindergartens, but you know if you watch other tutorials, we're gonna need more of them. For population, uh, as I expect, population would be around 2000 by the end of this tutorial, and that population is gonna require at least four kindergartens. They are quite important because they keep the children safe while workers work, so. Uh, workers will not work if you don't have all of that set up. The, f the uh, power plant is almost done, everything else is already constructed over here. We have a couple of key stuff we need to finish and that would be uh, the big one. Now, bear in mind that I always, always, always told you that uh, in the tutorials I use the cheaper version of stuff. Um, we use the cheaper version. Uh, right. Let's go from this side. Uh, but in this case, because this is going to be our main export, uh, we're going to use more expensive cables. Uh, we're going to be exporting electricity in this case. I'm going to be exporting the 18 megawatts of power, of electricity, and that's going to be our... Uh, our export here. Uh, the second thing we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to get electricity over here and heating as well. That's gonna take a little bit more money and of course we're gonna have to get population in the in the city. For now everything is empty, it's a ghost town, but as far as I remember they have everything they need over here. I need a car depot, vehicle depot, and I need to set up the bus lines and we'll see if we can upgrade anything later on if we have any money left over. Anyway, let me finish this and see you in a second. Right, so we have a basic republic running around here and uh, usually I have it, they don't have electricity still, bear in mind that this is a setup that is supposed to be running when uh, that we are generating our own electricity. I have a grid ready and uh, it just needs people. By the way, heads up on this, if you are not importing electricity straight away, you will need to buy a little bit of coal and we always do this and it's always good to have these four tons of coal as a reserve just in case if your setup stops working for some reason, if you don't have electricity or something. Um, or, or any of this production, um, any production stops, you should have four tons of um, coal and power plant because then only they require people and that's it in order to operate. Uh, this I forgot to, uh, I didn't forget, but the power plant is a little bit further away from from rest of the industrial area, so it's not supplying electricity everywhere. Now we change this, so you can see here if we go uh, these conveyor belts, uh, processing plant, uh, it's not connected to electricity. Now it is, so it, now it should be working fine. We have workers already loaded up and ready to go, and as soon as they unload them we should have electricity, we should have everything working, and we should have um, exports working as well. Now I imported, as you can, I'm going to show you here, I imported, uh, as soon as we get electricity I'm going to show you statistics, I imported only 600 people. We have two buildings that are not fully populated, there are two last buildings fully. I usually, usually just put 100 people in there, so we have two buildings that are empty, I'm going to populate them as soon as we get uh, start getting money. You're gonna see that uh, mining, 79% uh, is quality of the source, this is enormous, this is absolutely enormous, this is really good quality, and I'm 100% sure that we're not gonna need 200 people here, like 100 people would be 
probably more than enough but uh, we'll see when once they start producing and see people going to their workplaces straight away uh, we have set up export of electricity so as soon as they start producing we should start getting here we go we're slowly going down uh, that is the only uh, that is the reason because we are not processing our own coal but as soon as we started processing our own coal uh, we stopped importing coal and we started earning money and that's it uh, that's the that's everything I have to say concerning this so I'm hoping that these buses are gonna go and refuel now because we need them set up and this needs to go a little bit faster so first things I'm gonna do around here is upgrade some of the roads they have so I'm gonna go like this, oh my bad, we're gonna go for gravel roads, uh, these are the ones they're gonna be using most most often, uh, well these are the only ones they're gonna be using, and I'm gonna upgrade them here, and I'm gonna upgrade them from this side, just not to bother them while they're on the road at the moment, uh, actually who cares. Upgrade all of that. Here we go. So we have gravel roads for our buses. They're all gonna refuel now and continue supplying uh, workforce to our, well, to our industrial area. Okay, so everything is working out fine. Everything is working out perfectly. The only problem is we don't have a stable supply of people. Uh, you can see here that our setup here, uh, these guys are mining 260 tons of coal per day. And this can process only 210 that means we have a backlog of coal ore so that means that we uh, we are mining more than we need so I'm gonna lower this to 80 because I want everything else to be supplied fully with people and I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be okay that everything is gonna be okay the only thing I didn't set set up here is the heating uh, we will have issues with heating especially when the night falls currently we're doing okay so you can see here that we imported 400 400 no yeah, I'm pretty sure that we imported 600 people uh, statistics for some reason are not showing us correct number of workers living around here okay I have no idea why this is probably uh, I'm thinking now let me see maybe part of the city is not in the same this is Klebruisk uh, here we go electricity went out that's perfectly normal <clears throat> because we don't have a stable supply of people we will now as soon as we get more workers over here and the workers are here we go they're slowly coming in okay so <clears throat> Uh, what's the problem? I have no idea what's the problem with this one. I'm gonna speed this up uh, and as soon as they get equal spacing around here everything is gonna start to work again. Let's meet in a few days when this is all set up. Right, okay, one month update. Uh, I have, uh, we have heating now. Uh, I implemented what heat, one heating uh, exchanger, but that's not enough for this um, city. Uh, small heating exchanger it has, at the moment it has 184% potential drain uh, from the heating system. So we're gonna need another pipe coming in here. That is not a problem. That's not a problem. Uh, they're not that expensive, especially the smaller pipes. Uh, we already have enough money for all of it problems with this tutorial we're gonna have one problem you see this moderate here it's counted as a region like a city even though it's a border crossing and this area where we started uh, uh, Kilbursk uh, is counted as a different city and this is Kilb uh, Kilbrusk um, accounting office <laughs> but uh, check the name of the buildings Kilbursk Flats Kilbursk uh, Kilbruisk uh, Heating Exchanger BAM Modred Small Shopping Center so we have half of our city Modred Modred and here as well Modred and Modred um, uh, half of our city is in a different county so technically we would have to have two accounting holes in order to have proper statistics that's just gonna create a lot of mess for us so in order to uh, calculate proper statistics for the population here we can do it individually just checking out the buildings and see count the population that way or uh, we can just disregard this information because this is a fourth or fifth tutorial that we have and more or less the results are the same for this kind of city 
statistic wise uh, yes we have much more birds than we have deaths this is counting again only half of the city bear in mind i did not import the last 100 people here because it's not needed i had an issue with people not be not having work this is a bus going back from work and it's carrying seven workers back because there's no place for them to work. That means that we have more than enough workers with only 700 people imported here. Uh, we could have gone with 600 as well, but uh, 700 is fine. I'm constantly increasing number of workers working in a mine just so we don't have these workers being returned and then them complaining that they don't have jobs. I will be constantly increasing number of workers uh, available in a mine or well, there's, there's nowhere else we can employ them. We have a hospital, I already increased this to 10 workers. We have university, I increased that to 10 as well. We might increase it furthermore. And uh, let's see here, school, that can definitely use, we're gonna go all in on school and kindergartens are gonna soon be uh, overwhelmed with children, so we're gonna have to uh, build several more uh, kindergartens. Financially wise, we're doing good. We had this month or last month, so we can check our last month's uh, uh, bill. We earned four and a half thousand rubles, but we did construct a heating plant, heating infrastructure that cost us around 20,000 or so. You can see all this steel, mechanical components and concrete being imported that uh, would be counted towards our profit. We're gonna see the, in the next couple of months what the situation is gonna be like, but I'm quite optimistic. In only a few days of May, we already are in 5,000, almost 5,000 rubles up. Anyway, uh, let's speed this up for a couple of months and we'll see what the statistics are of coal industry. Right, that's enough. In a few days, in uh, 19 days, in 17 days, it would be six months since we started this game, and uh, voila. Here we are. Let's check uh, the stats first. I think more or less everybody is aware what this is. Like, again, we're, we have more or less just a little bit over half of the city covered with this, if uh, you know what I mean, because half of the city <coughs> is registered as a moderate and half of them is... Uh, uh, Klibroisk. So these statistics that we have here in the um, accounting office are not really precise. Anyway, uh, this seems the 1,100 people in half of the city, just over half of the city, because we still have one building that is not populated, is uh, more or less what we had in any tutorial. We can expect around 2,000 people living in uh, in this town. I had to create four kindergartens. That was altogether the two additional ones that was a little bit more expense and also I wanted to make this town as realistic as possible so I did put additional heating exchanger that covers everything and estimated maximum drain 95% this one is 100% so that means that we would be able to heat this with this um, heating plant in the winter and you can see that it's already working at a high high percentage anyway uh f f people wise we're fine there's nothing happening here i bought a couple of more trucks i got more people to work here we're lacking in professors we need more highly educated people um that is the problem because we didn't uh, import any highly educated people we got them with a uh, normal import of people so Currently, we wouldn't have a lot of highly educated people, 38 in this part of the city, and you can see 7 and 7 and 7 here, that's 21, 38 and 21, that would be 59, right? Usually we would have those numbers in hundreds, but we would definitely import hundreds of professors, but it's stabilizing off nicely. Okay, the elephant in the room, right? How did we do? Obviously, we're doing okay financially. We are earning, we're positive every month, more or less. What does it mean in average? Uh, so I think perfect example would be month of July. If we don't have any expenses, this is what finances would be. But Uliki, I hear you say, what about you saying that this is a really good uh, thing to start? This is not the most you would get from any resource. That's correct. Oil even some others like uh, uh, uranium hexafluoride exports would get you a little bit more money but both oil and uranium hexafluoride are end game um, materials that means that you can't really do anything with them you can just use them and that's it while 
coal is basics for most of the stuff around here from energy generation heat generation to creating steel which is going to be one of the biggest material that you have for example in this case the next step would be to find an iron resource and we have a nice little deposit over here in these hills where we would we would be able to start our iron industry if uh, one other thing these two storages that we implemented they're full they're full of of um, coal and coal ore we you need to find a way to export that trucks is not really a viable thing train would be constructing our s short uh, railroad to the closest uh, soviet uh, border crossing wouldn't cost you this much i believe we can even pay the whole length of the railroad with wooden beams uh, right now the problem would be buying the train and loading unloading um, facility that you need to export these that that would be a little bit more expensive maybe Maybe you would want to buy, uh, get a loan and then transfer all of this. Maybe you would do, like to do something else, but it doesn't matter. You can build this. You need a uh, loading, you need a railroad, you need a loading bay, and you need train cargo station and buy yourself a train. Buy yourself a train, start exporting this coal. Once you get enough money exporting this coal, start exporting coal ore because you can mine way, way more uh, coal than you have here. Let me show you the maximum capacity of this coal, of, of this ore, uh, sorry, of this mine. 120 people currently can work here. 100 of them are working. Let me show you if we can empty the whole storage. Let's see the full capacity of this mine is 325 with half of the half of the workers is 325 tons of coal ore per day if you implement this mine to a hundred percent or close to hundred percent you would get five to six hundred tons of coal ore a day train will take more than a day to get there and back so you would have to export 600 tons of this coal ore if you want to process it into coal you will have to have two more of these processing plant in order to keep up with this mine that's how much money or is there money and or right that's it this is why i think that the coal is the way to go uh, financially we are getting more or less 25 to 30 thousand a month and it's you're getting it all the time it's not like you have to wait for trucks to be delivered you're getting it through the wires all the time and this is why i think the coal is one of the best ways to start the game and uh, this is the basics for all of your future industries from steel to heating to electricity production everything that you need you can have it from coal and having this in the beginning it's a really really good thing next steps would be upgrading the roads uh, expanding your industry probably expanding your ex exports of coal this is my suggestion anyway let me know what you think do you think that uh, i'm wrong here that coal is not the best way to start the game financially obviously it's not but uh, for fun for future i think it's the best way to start the game anyway i really hope that this helped if it didn't leave a nasty comment in the comment section if you if it helped you press a like button subscribe and thank you for everything guys see you in the next one bye bye